Hello world and welcome. Today I will talk about uh, stable diffusion, how you can generate uh, an image uh, from a text to image or if you have an image already, how you can um, put it like an image um, in a special um, way or by a special um, style like Van Gogh's style or um, Picasso style or something like this. And um, my name is Harris and let's get started. So for more tutorials, hit the subscribe button or leave a like comment there. First of all, I'm going to um, install all the libraries that you can see here, like uh, Diffuser, Transformer. And after this has been done and installed successfully, you can uh, import all the packages. Um, where you can actually um, also import torch, diffusers, and so on. Uh, for hacking phase, you need to log in. Uh, you can just create an account, and then um, there you can also uh, use the pre-trained model, the stable um, diffusion model here in the fourth version. And after you actually um, download that, can start with your first image. So for instance, I am uh, was describing a prompt here um, where I have a um, man riding a tiger with Van Gogh style and uh, you put the prompt to the pipe and then the image will be plot. So you can see here um, this um, image um, looks pretty good. And um, this uh, stable diffusion, actually, how it works, it makes, uh, just in a nutshell, it makes from noise an image, right? So you have the possibility to um, describe um, text like a prompt, and it will generate the image, or you can already have the image um, and put it in a sketch or something like this in a special style, so you can also transform it to another image or to add some features to the image. Um, it basically used the unit, so this is just, um, it, it compresses down the uh, image and uncompress it again. Um, and it uses uh, basically CNNs, the convolution neural nets, to do that, uh, which we already know from other lessons or from other um, tutorials. We also used um, CNN for image um, detection and so on, and or image classification as well. And um, this works pretty fine. Last time I already showed you how you can generate an image from a text. And uh, today I will um, show you how you can um, convert an image to another image. So to put more features, something like this, to put a new style, to make a nice drawing from a arbitrary image. Um, so after you have the image, you can actually save it, as you can see as image two, I saved it here. And um, what you can also do is you can um, have other hyperparameters, like you have, a, you can put a generator where you're using uh, some manual seed, you can put, you can um, change the height and the width. Uh, it, ha it has to be um, divided by eight, actually. Um, but um, you have to have a really good GPU to do that because um, sometimes it's, it don't show the picture if you have a higher resolution. You can put a number of interference step. I put only here 10 to just show you an example. Mostly it's uh, 50 and then and, um, as default is 50. Uh, interference, so you are doing 50 times. This is the stable diffusion process. You're um, going through 50 different um, units, and that's why um, you get a better resolution and a better and a, actually a nicer picture at the end of the day. Um, so I put here only. I um, was changing the number from 50 to 10. You can see there are some, um, you know, some uh, things that um, are not perfectly done um, by 
the stable diffusion process. So um, after that, I also saved the picture, which you can see here um, in other resolution. Then uh, what you can actually do is um, you can, um, which you can, which you know from da DALI or other um, image generators, you can um, generate, for instance, four pictures. There are four images of um, colorful planets in space. And then you could choose the best one or save it or something like this. So now we are going to the interesting part for today, where you can generate the image from uh, image. And that's why I just took a um, image from a dog, which you can see here. I was um, converting that to a RGB model and I um, resized it to 512, 512 because um, stable diffusion or was trained by um, this uh, resolution. So do you have the uh, perfectly match if you're doing this resolution? And then I um, changed the pipe a little bit that I uh, was um, writing a colorful dog, uh, Picasso style, and I inserted the image uh, above. And then you have other hyperparameters like number interference, which I already uh, told you, and um, you have guidance scale, you have the strength and so on of uh, the image and then you can see the outcome of this dog um, and yeah it looks pretty pretty nice pretty fine um, here i have already the image um, if you save it um, then you can also keep it or um, do other transformation with this picture um, after this yeah, after the saving process of course so it looks really amazing. I was, I'm really happy about um, the results. And yeah, let me know what you think about this model in the comment section. And thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.